This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome aboard. You should definitely hit subscribe and the notification bell before we go any further. And you realise how fucking garbage this content is. And if this is not your first time on the channel, welcome back, you absolute fucking loser. So over today, we have more of the flavor of the week. Of course, Tri Brigade running rampant in the format at the moment. No surprise, we've got plenty of Tri Brigade content that's already dropped and is coming your way in future. So if you're one of those people who wants to play the best deck of the format or is interested in the best deck of the format, this is the way to go. So for today's deck profile, I have Adam Morewood. He contacted me on Facebook. He wanted to share his list that he took to the YCS. The remote YCS, of course, not a physical one. Sad times, we don't have one of those at the moment. So Adam's list took him to a nice, cool X2 finish, meaning he qualified for day two. And he also came second in the giant card with the same list. So overall, not a bad performance at all. So definitely something worth looking at. Of course, we've got a little bit of spice in there, which we'll get to in a moment, but it's looking pretty cool. Some of it is very, very standard. Some of it is a bit weird, but I'll get to that in a moment. The sort of stuff that I'm a bit unsure about, but it seems to work well for him. So what do I know? But essentially, he spiced this one up a little bit so he could play Naturia Beast. Understandable. Naturia Beast is a pretty strong card. Now, we'll quickly run through the list and then we'll talk a little bit about his matchups and the rest of all of that. So, for those of you who are here primarily to get the list and fuck off off the channel, here's your opportunity. So, we start off with triple copies of Rescue Cat. That's pretty standard, I think, at the moment. Most people are playing pure and Rescue Cat really does get you over the line with it. A very, very, very good card. Absolutely mandatory, in my opinion. Now, as for the try lineup itself, triple fractal, triple kit, triple Keras, and triple Nerval. For the most part, pretty standard. Most people are only playing two Keras. However, I have seen a massive uptick in people playing the third copy so they're better for the grind game. They can play through a few more cards. Uh, stuff like Lancia is a little bit easier to play through and that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, I see a lot of people up and into that, and it doesn't really surprise me that we see three here in this list. It does help just keep things super consistent, which means you can keep going for that extra turn or so long. Now the bit of spice in here that enables Naturia Beast to be gotten out is X Saber Herbalum. Of course, you can summon this off Rescue Cat along with your Keras and go straight into Nat Beast. What's not to like about that? Nice and easy turn one play. It's a it's a free negate basically on board. If you've already got everything else that you need, why not go for it? We then have triple gamma and a single driver. I think you just need to play this in the deck, so I definitely don't disagree with that. Triple copies of Ash Blossom, the most standard best hand trap in the game. So it's the most generic hand trap, best hand trap. You need to play three copies of it. Three copies of Triple Tactics Talents. Uh, I think that this is really, really strong. This deck is an absolute hand trap magnet, so you just punish your opponent for doing it, either ripping extra cards out their hand. It's even better when you gamma them as well, because you then can rip two cards, and it just gets all kinds of fucking hairy after that. Or, of course, if you're feeling a bit short on resources, you can draw two. There's just the, the, the world is your oyster at that point. You just need to play three copies. A single copy of Call by the Grave. Again, it's a hand trap magnet. Uh, it can be decent in the mirror, and there's a lot of other decks that this hits as well so just a really cool option to have in there triple 10 keys this just searches fractal i don't really need to add to that triple copies of pot of desires i do think that this is a bit weaker than prosperity i don't know if this is budgetary reasons he's gone for this or maybe in testing this has worked better for him i'm not really sure but desires is definitely a perfectly viable option to go for we have triple copies of solemn strike this is something again that i've seen creeping into lists very interesting choice here it seems to work quite well in all the matchups that i've played against where people have had strike it's very strong at the moment in the format uh, a very, very good option to consider. Triple copies of Revolt. I'm not such a big fan of the third Revolt. There's times where I really want to see it and times where I don't. But he's gone for three here. And again, it seems to work well for him. And then just two copies of Infinite Impermanence. I guess this is a space thing. You probably didn't want to go above 41. For whatever reason, he's gone for two copies here, though. Now, onto the extra deck. Uh, we've got pretty much a standard sort of thing here. One Brum, uh, one Ferrage. This mixes between one and two, depending on people's lists. A uh, single copy of Shella. That's pretty standard. Triple copies of uh, Shreg. I think you need to play three copies. The card is absolutely broken. A single copy of Almirage, pretty standard. Uh, the Double Dragon Boy, standard. We've got Nightmare Package in here, which we don't see in many lists. Um, a lot of people feel this is surplus to requirements, but it can help out other problematic cards that you otherwise might struggle with. 
A single copy of Holy Island Sling and the Doom Eagle. Uh, yeah, it's, there's some matchups where this is absolutely insane, and if nothing else, it can help you push for game. A uh, single copy of Appaloosa. Most people have it in their standard going first combo if they open a decent hand to land on Apollo, amongst other things. A uh, single copy of Access Code Talker. This card's a win button. Naturia Beast, because, well, you can, so why not? And a single copy of Omega, because this card is fucking dumb. Now, onto the side deck here. We have double copies of Anti Spell and a single copy of Imperial Order. Really solid choices, in my opinion. Triple copies of Evenly Matched. That's an interesting one and not one I've seen in too many lists. Very, very interesting choice. I guess the deck does have issues with going second at times, so this can just help play through boards. Triple copies of Twin Twisters. This is very free in this deck. It's absolutely unreal. Triple copies of Ally of Justice, Psycho Reader, very, very strong card, absolutely fine. And triple copies of Nibiru. This is just a combo slayer, of course, you already know about that. Now on to Adam's comments, I did ask him for some so that I could read them out for you. So he said for the main event, he went X2 on day one, with his only two losses being Drytron in round five and Virtual World in round six. The first day he played two Drytron, two Salamangrate, two Dragon Link, one Strikeout and one Virtual World. And then as for day two, he lost two out of the three games to try and make top cut. Losses were a 60 card Eldritch Light Sworn and Tri Brigade, but one against Virtual World. After going X4 in the main, he entered the Giant card where he went X1, with his only loss being in the final to Virtual World, and the guy was the same Virtual World player who'd beaten him in day one at the main event. That's highly unfortunate. In the Giant card, he played Prank Kids, Invoked with Dragoon, Virtual World, Virtual World, and final was also Virtual World. Overall, he feels that the weekend was fantastic, and he felt that his list was super in terms of performance and consistency. The only changes he would make would be maybe the extra deck, as Unicorn only came up once and was to clear my Phoenix off the board, so I had a Link Arrow to special my Tri Brigade Links into. Fractal, Rescue Cat, and Gamma are the MVP of the weekend. I can highly agree with that from my own experiences. With Fractal just doing so much, along with the Rescue Cat, enabling one card link two plays, or making Nat Beast and Bait and Ash for Gamma, or tactics so that he can draw or gather info on what his opponent is playing. P.S. I never banished Driver off Desires the entire weekend, but I did sometimes draw it. However, it's easy to get out from his hand, sending it off double Dragon Lords. As for shoutouts, he wanted to shout out his local boys at Magic Mayhem along with Luke for helping him out with the list. Last minute inclusion of the Nightmares actually came clutch when uh, he got hit with Contact C in the Giant card and Phoenix was his only way to out it. But that rounds off the list. Big shout out to Adam. Well done on your solid finish. Unfortunately, you didn't make that top cut. But of course, it sounds like you had a very good weekend nonetheless. Thank you very much for bringing the list along. I do really appreciate it. And for those of you who are watching, if you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.